Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day two for our F5 LTM training course. So in this video, I'll be telling you about basic understanding of F5, what is the use case, where we can use it, and also the terminology as well. So in this video, I'll be covering what is F5 load balancer, what is node, what is pull, what is virtual server, and also we'll explore the F5 documentation as well. The reason to explore the documentation is because if some technology which is not covered under the video series, you can go ahead and, and do the deep dive of that particular technology into documentation of F5. Okay. So these are very basic uh, things to understand to build your foundation towards F5. So I'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand this. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is a load balancer. Okay. So as this name suggests that it balances the load. Okay. So basically what load as we are in networking, the load balancing would be traffic load balancing right so basically load balancer is something which is which actually balances the load of traffic right so friends uh, you must be thinking like um, how much traffic will be there and where we can use this load balancer basically so basically uh, let's say you have a public web server okay so public web server which is accessible by the internet users so we have like a huge internet where a lot of users are connected if they are accessing this web server in that case you need a load balancer so that it can balance the load i'll show you how the load balancing works but just now you understand that uh, for basically when you have like a server which is very much usable it may be a public server it may be a, a private server no matter what it is but in that case it if that is more usable in that case the load balancing is required more usable in sense the traffic is more towards that server okay so i'll show you a stat wherein uh, I have show I'm showing for Amazon.in. So for only for Feb month, the traffic was 291.2 million. So basically it is around 10 million in just one month, 10 million traffic. So 10 million traffic is equal to one crore traffic. So in a month, one crore traffic is hitting to amazon.n so that is the reason you think about right now everything is online so that is the reason the load balancer is required like it is not just now the load balancer has been introduced it's long back so you think about right now what is the opportunity of load balancer okay so I'll, I'll discuss about a uh, very detailed manner during the series. You just need to understand each and everything. So uh, let me tell you how mm, the load balancer works. I'll, I'll show you with the help of a diagram. OK, so now friends will understand what is node, what is pull and what is virtual server. OK, so first we understand what is node. OK, so basically a PC, a system, a single PC or machine or server, whatever we say, known as node. Okay. What is pull? So pull is a collection of all the nodes. So basically what I am trying to say over here is that multiple nodes can be in a single pull. Okay. So this is called node and whole the collection of all the nodes known as pull right so basically what is happening over here is from the server's perspective 
all the servers will be running the same application. So let's say if I'm running google.com, okay? So all the applications, all the servers will be running google.com web server. How they are configured, I'm not much sure about it. I just wanted to understand as per the, as per the server and they will configure, they will do the clustering thing, how it works. They know better. I'm not much sure about it. Okay. So basically they will be running in the cluster. They have different, different IP address. So this server will have 10.1.1.1. This will have 10.1.1.2. This will have 10.1.1.3. This will have 10.1.1.4. Something like this. Okay. Now all this can be clubbed into pool. Okay. Now what is virtual server? So let's say if I am going to access google.com. Okay. The DNS resolution will happen and during the DNS resolution, uh, resolution happens, I will get an IP address, right? So IP address will be single IP address, right? I cannot determine sitting at home that if I want to access google.com or youtube.com, where which server it the request will go to. So I know the IP address. So basically, this node and this pool will be clubbed to virtual server. So there will be a public facing IP address, which is known as virtual server will take all the request. Okay. And then whatever pool is configured under this virtual server, it sends it do the load balancing. Okay. So, what happens is from the start, I will tell you. So the client will come to the load balancer. Okay. It, it hits the virtual IP address, virtual IP. Okay. Now in the virtual server, there will be a pool, right? Now in the pool, there will be a lot of nodes, which is like this. Now, we have load balancing mechanism. It can be uh, round robin. It can be resource something. I will tell you later about it. So this client hits the virtual server and then virtual servers find the pool and in the, uh, in the pool, there are a lot of servers. So the first request will go to, let's say 10.1.1.1. The second request will go to 10.1.1.2. The third request will go to 10.1.1.3. Fourth request will go to 1.1.4. So this is how the load balancing will happen. Okay. Load balancer is like a little intelligent in this. So what exactly it does is it also monitor the states of the machine. So basically what does it mean is like it checks the state of whether this nodes are up or not. So let's say if four is down, okay, it sends maybe you can configure a TCP or ICMP, whatever protocol you want. If you are unable to understand what is proving how to check the uh, connectivity or something, if you don't understand, that's fine. Okay, I will cover it later as well. For now, I'm just clearing the picture what exactly a load balancer does. Okay. So basically, let's say if 10.1.4 is down, it's not responding or some hardware failure has happened for this one. So what happens is from pull itself, from pull, there are a lot of nodes, right? Okay. Node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4. So it will remove the node 4 and generates a log saying that this server is out of this pool because this is hardware failure or it generates a log something like that okay now as this is out of the pool the load balancing will happen from one two three it will not go to four so 
this is uh, the load balancer is having little intelligent to understand that whether the uh, it also does the uh, monitoring of the node so that it can understand whether to which node i need to forward let's say if four is down and load balancer doesn't have any idea about it in that case the traffic will be coming to node four but he will not respond to the request okay so this is how the load balancer works in real world and it is required in all the organization because they have public servers they have private servers and they have lot of users for that server so everywhere this fi load balancer is required okay i'll come to ltm later what is ltm why we use it what is uh, gtm and all those things but for now you just understand this is how the load balancer works okay now friends this is the final topic and this is one of the interesting topic i can say so uh, we'll explore the fi documentation let's let's rub this off and we'll go to the website so this is the website that is https support.fi.com okay now once you come here you don't need to go anywhere okay you will have all the information okay so let's say if you want to explore uh, about the devices like related to security related to cloud software hardware whatever you want you can download your files you can track your bug you can do your fi certification like you want to know about the blueprints the documentation if you want to uh, uh, join the community the dev central community you can do that you can activate your license there is fi university as well so you can do online learning as well and if you have something uh, qkv file which you need to generate let's say if your fi is not uh, behaving properly in that case you can generate a qkv file and you can upload and you can check over here as well so if i go to fi online learning you can go ahead and you can learn lot of things so if you want to browse anything like if you want to see any any kind of series like, let's say Uh, related to ltm gtm whatever you want uh, there is list uh, you have like advanced wav or something there are lot of uh, you can browse the training you can search it whatever you want and related to i health you can upload the file you can run it you can explore things you can do log search something like that so whatever you want so this is only the place where you can get all the information about fi devices or maybe that is a, a hardware device physical device about uh, a software whatever you say so let's say if i want to go to big ip so fundamentals how to set up how to configure logging everything okay how to hardening the big ip system so with the help of this url you will be able to do everything so this is one of the important or key i can say url you need to know okay so you go visit and explore what is available over there okay if i am if i am telling something which is not in the documentation you can try to do a comment or maybe you can send me a name email that whatever you say it's not matching with fi documentation because nobody knows everything okay they are learning even i am learning with uh, from you guys okay so don't hesitate and uh, whatever you have like whatever understanding that you have learned from my video try to understand if that is a issue try to uh, send me an email and we can set and we can resolve that okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me and this series will be having a uh, one of the best series i wanted to make so please subscribe my channel thank you